Hey guys, what's up? This is Mystical from a cup of death.com bringing you guys another video tutorial. In this video, I want to discuss with you guys how to make the Hopog HD PVR2 record at 60 frames per second. I get this question asked a lot on our other Hopog videos on the HD PVR, and there's a lot of common misconceptions, so I want to kind of clear it all up. Let me say right off the beginning in this video for those that are watching that have maybe you know looked at some other sources and stuff, this does not make your Xbox run at 60 frames per second. This method only records at 60 frames per second if your Xbox is running at 60 frames per second. If the game you're playing does is was not created for the Xbox 360 running it for running at 60 frames per second, this will not automatically increase it. Um, this is so let's let's get right into it and I'll explain more as we go. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is open up the ArcSoft Showbiz software that came with your Hotpog HD PVR and go to the capture screen. And then I'm actually gonna full screen the uh, screen here so we can look at the Xbox screen and there's a about a three second lag between the screen on my PC and the Xbox so you know but I want to show you the settings so let me full screen that <clears throat> the first thing you're going to do is go you have to uh, realize that the Hopog HD PVR2 will not capture 1080p at 60 frames per second it will only capture uh, the 720p or lower at 60 frames per second so the first thing you must do is you must change uh, your Xbox to be at 720p Okay, so we're going to go to system under the settings menu, console settings, display, and HDTV, HDTV settings, and you're going to want to go to 720p. Select that. It'll change the resolution for you, and then it'll ask you if the settings okay. Yes, we want to keep the new settings, and you're done. Okay, so that's how we change that. So let's go back out of full screen here back to the PC and then once you do that all you need to do is is if you click on your format set format settings I'll show you here um, it's under here but if you notice right here source 100 or 1280 by 720p so you can see the I and the P here we're doing at P not at I so it's 720p okay right now it's receiving 60 frames per second at the from the Xbox, which means if I was to start recording, the Hopog HD PVR2 is capturing at 60 frames per second. Now here's where the problem comes in. Sometimes people capture video from the Xbox at 720p and it's, and it's only reading 30 frames per second. And they're saying, well, how do I increase it to 60 frames per second? You are not able to. This is one of the downsides um, as to many but we won't get into that as to why console gaming is extremely different than PC gaming on a console uh, when developers create a game they they do not just allow the frame rate to run unlimited like on PC games meaning on a PC the better your graphics card the better frame rate you're gonna get instead developers they know the graphics card inside a console system uh, so they limit whatever frame rate they're able to achieve without the game having problems. So they limit it at either 30 or some games do 60 frames per second, depending on the graphics and stuff like that, and whether or not the Xbox 360 is going to be able to play their game at 60 frames per second. Um, so if you're playing a game where their developer limits the frame rate to 30 frames per second, the Hopog HD PVR2 is only going to capture the video at 30 frames per second. You cannot force it to capture at a higher rate than what it's receiving in from the source. So if you're set at 720p, by default, the Hopog HD PVR2 will capture at 60 frames per second when it is able to. So as long as you're on 720p, you're already capturing at 60 frames per second. Now, when you render the video, either using Sony Vegas, or the ArcSoft Showbiz software, once you capture a video, you can set in there whether you want it to stay at 60 or 30. So if you're still having issues, if it's showing you're capturing at 60 frames per second here in the Hopog H264 encoder tab, 
and your video is coming out 30 frames after you render it, it's most likely an issue that you're doing inside of either Sony Vegas or the ArcSoft software when you render the video. You need to make sure you're selecting 60 frames per second in your video rendering software to keep that source. Okay, so that's the video, guys. It's fairly simple. I know it's not the answer everybody wants because some people obviously realize they're only getting 30 frames and they're wanting to get 60, but unfortunately, that's just the only way that you're able to do it with the Xbox 360 or the PS3. Um, if it's if the source coming out of the console is is 60 frames per second, you're automatically going to get 60 frames per second when you record in 720p or lower. If it's only coming out at 30 frames per second, you're only going to capture at 30 frames per second. It's it can't make up frames um, the Hotpog HD PVR that aren't there. Um, so that's it guys, real simple video, I, I know it might not help some of you out and I do apologize for that, but I get a ton of comments on our other Hopog videos asking about this, so I wanted to make a video instead of, you know, just, you know, that I can reference all these people too, um, instead of just trying to answer it in the comments all the time because it is difficult. Um, so there you guys have it, um, please subscribe to the channel, we appreciate it so much, We, you know, we're a newer channel and we appreciate you guys helping us out. Also be sure to give the video a like, I know there's a lot of people out there that have this issue and hopefully this can clarify it for them, may not give them all the answers they want or we're hoping for, but at least it should clarify to them what's going on. Um, and also if you don't mind and you got a friend or something, you know, share it with them if they're having this issue. Alright guys, have a good one, I'll see you in the game.